Nobody likes to have their personal items stolen from them. Not only can it put financial strain on a person, but it's also plain annoying. But some thefts can make for an interesting story, especially when the stolen item is something that you never would have guessed would have ever even been stolen in the first place. Make sure to keep watching until the end to see what one El Pollo Loco location offered as a reward for their stolen mascot. Before we jump into it, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now here are the 10 craziest things that have ever been stolen by thieves. A shark. In the summer of 2018, a 16-inch long horned shark was stolen from the San Antonio Aquarium in Texas. Known as Miss Helen, the shark was taken from a tide pool exhibit, which allows visitors to interact with the marine creatures inside. Since Miss Helen wasn't a fully grown horned shark, she was easily concealed by the thieves in a baby stroller. They took her from her comfortable 76-degree home and moved her to a smaller 52-degree water tank for her voyage out of the aquarium. The shark robbery was all caught on the aquarium surveillance footage and the police tracked the perpetrators down just a few days later. Miss Helen was found inside a giant pool filled with other sharks and marine animals. The $2,000 shark was returned to her aquarium home soon after. Maple Syrup Known as one of the greatest agricultural crimes in all of history, 3,000 tons of sweet maple syrup were once stolen from a small town in Quebec. If you're not already aware, Quebec's maple syrup is like liquid gold, and the syrup trade is regulated by the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers. Back in July 2012, dozens of barrels that were in a warehouse belonging to the FPAQ were found filled with water instead of syrup. An investigation began and it turned out that approximately 6,000 barrels of syrup had been stolen between 2011 and 2012. The amount of syrup taken amounted to $18.7 million worth, and the ordeal became known around the world as the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist. The Federation basically rented a warehouse that had minimal security and a gang of criminals used that to their advantage. Over two dozen people were initially arrested in connection to the heist. A Gorilla Statue in early November 2018, a huge fiberglass gorilla statue was stolen from the roof of the Karma Sanctum Hotel in the West End of London. Weighing over 350 pounds, it's hard to believe that it was taken by two thieves who scaled the hotel in high-visibility vests. The men were also wearing hard hats, and they reportedly duped some builders working next door into helping them carry the gorilla down through their worksite. The statue, known fondly as Ace, is worth over $25,000 and was installed by a crane a couple of years ago. A florist who was working on the hotel's Christmas installation saw the two men removing the statue. When he asked them where it was going, one of the thieves replied, It's going in my garden, love. The owner of the hotel has offered a week's stay at the Karma Hotel in Bali in exchange for the statue's safe return. Einstein's Brain when you think of Albert Einstein, you probably think of someone who has an extraordinary brain. You might even assume that his brain was heavily studied after he passed on from this world. But Einstein didn't want to be idolized and he specifically asked for his brain to be left alone. He instead wanted to be cremated and scattered in a secret location. However, the pathologist on duty on the day of his autopsy didn't listen to the genius's request. Dr. Thomas Harvey stole Einstein's brain from the Princeton Hospital, and he did so without the family's permission. At first, no one noticed, and the theoretical physicist was cremated as planned. When Harvey's thievery came to light just a few days later, he actually managed to get a retroactive blessing from Einstein's son. However, Hans did insist that his father's brain was only to be used for investigations conducted in the name of science. As you can imagine, Harvey lost his job at the Princeton Hospital, and it seems that the brain might have been a curse for him more than anything. After 30 years of owning the brain, he finally published a study on it. Many more studies were published soon after. A bridge. We don't know if you're aware of this already, but you can sell scrap metal for a pretty penny. So when an entire bridge went missing in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, police knew right away that it had most probably been stolen by scrap metal thieves. When locals woke up and found that the 50-foot steel bridge had disappeared back in 2011, many of them assumed that it had been washed away in the rain. 
the 40-ton bridge had been taken right from its foundation and the thieves used blowtorches to break it apart. The scariest part about this whole ordeal is that the Newcastle development spokesman believed that they took a few days to remove the bridge piece by piece. They eventually found the thieves after a recycling company tipped off the authorities. The blowtorch-wielding perpetrators were two brothers from Newcastle, and they reportedly were able to sell 15 and a half tons of the bridge's scrap metal for over $5,000. Jamaican Sand Back in 2008, police were stumped after an estimated 500 truckloads of white sand vanished from the Coral Spring Beach in Jamaica. All that they knew is that the sand had probably been sold to other resorts in the area. Some suspected that some police officers were in collusion with the thieves, though the police force denied this suspicion. The enormous loss of sand on the beach devastated its layout and even caused some flooding. The disappearance was taken so seriously that authorities even went around to different beaches on the coast to see if any of the sand was a match for the stolen kind. To this day, Jamaica still has no idea where all of the white sand went. A $108 million resort complex that was supposed to be developed on the beach had to be put on hold after the theft occurred. Fajitas In 2017, an 800-pound order of fajitas was delivered to the Cameron County Juvenile Justice Department in Texas. The person working in the kitchen refused the order because the department doesn't serve fajitas. This wouldn't have been a problem if the driver hadn't been delivering fajitas to the juvie for nearly a decade. It turns out that one of the department employees had been placing orders for fajitas through the Juvie Center for over nine years. He would then intercept the order and sell it to his own customers. In total, Gilberto Escaramilla had stolen over $1.2 million worth of fajitas. The only reason his grand plan was discovered is because he missed work on the same day that his fajita delivery came in. Gilberto was arrested and the Cameron County Assistant District Attorney asked for him to be given a 50-year sentence. They wanted to send out the message that theft by public servants is a matter that is taken seriously. Gilberto admitted that the whole ordeal spun out of his control and he was indeed sentenced to 50 years in prison. However, many people also said that the situation was a total failure on the part of the department. Ruby Slippers Back in 2005, a pair of ruby slippers were stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. But they weren't an ordinary pair of slippers, they were the ones worn by Judy Garland in the classic movie The Wizard of Oz. The perpetrator broke into the museum through a window in the middle of the night. Though you might think of the shoes as nothing more than an old costume used in a movie, they're a valuable piece of movie history. One anonymous donor even offered up a $1 million reward to whoever could reveal the location of the stolen shoes and the name of the thief. However, this reward expired in 2015, 10 years after the robbery occurred. The ruby slippers had been on loan to the museum from a Hollywood memorabilia collector. After 12 years of looking for them, a man came forward with information on how to get them back. After a year-long undercover operation, the ruby slippers were finally recovered in Minneapolis. The collector who loaned them out must have been relieved as the shoes are estimated to be worth somewhere between two and seven million dollars. Having the ruby red slippers stolen was the biggest thing that's ever happened to the Judy Garland Museum. A Vodka Bottle in January 2018, a bottle of vodka was stolen from a bar in Copenhagen, Denmark. But this wasn't any ordinary bottle of vodka. Its owner called it the most expensive vodka bottle in the world. Created by a car manufacturer in Latvia, the bottle was made from 6.6 .6 pounds of gold, 6.6 .6 pounds of silver, and had a diamond-encrusted cap. According to the owner, the bottle was worth $1.3 million and it was filled with Russian vodka. The bottle had even made a brief appearance in a scene of House of Cards. It had been secretly lent out to the owner of a pub called Cafe 33, and no one was supposed to know that it was being kept in the pub's storage room. But a surveillance video showed the thief entering the basement with a key, so the thief must have had some sort of in with the pub. A few days later, the bottle had been found dented and empty. The way that it had been placed made it seem like the perpetrator got cold feet and wanted it to be found. A Rubber Chicken 
an El Pollo Loco fast food restaurant in California was surprised to find that their 20-foot inflatable rubber chicken had been stolen just two weeks after they installed it. The chicken had been left outside in front of the restaurant as part of a promotion, and it never even crossed management's mind that someone would try to take it. They wanted their humongous chicken back so badly that they offered a reward of 12 free combo meals for its return. Sadly, the inflatable mascot was never returned, and no one knows what happened to it. That's it for the 10 craziest things that have ever been stolen by thieves. Have you ever caught someone trying to steal something from you? Let us know what the thieves tried to get their hands on in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Riches for more awesome videos every day.